Yo, what's up everyone? Working on a 91 Acura NSX. The owner of the car is a car enthusiast who loves driving his car, going to the track to push the car to its limits, and modding the car. We met up in person to do our initial inspection of the car and to take a look at the two main areas of his concerns. The first area uh, is his driver's, driver's side fender, which he mentioned there's a lot of track wrap glue residue that would not come off. I asked him which brand he used and how long it was on there. He replied by uh, saying he bought it off Amazon and he forgot the brand name. The track wrap was left on the paint for one week under intense heat with 90 to 100 degree days. The second area of his concern was his driver's side quarter panel which had multiple deep scratches down to the metal. His other goal was to make the paintwork shiny again because he said the paint on a car of this caliber should not be like this and I want to make it look presentable again so we will be doing a wash, decontamination with iron X, clay bar, one step polishing with carpal essence and applying a paint sealant to protect it for 6 months. I'm cleaning off the area with optimum no rinse then following it up with claying, claying it with the now skin fine grade sponge. Afterwards, I'm blocking it with 3000 grit and then from there, I'm polishing it out to see what kind of results we can get with this procedure. Now I'm focusing on the fender. When I think of glue residue, it usually sounds like a straightforward and simple approach to it. Grab some solvent or residue remover and it should come off right, but no. This specific situation, as you guys will see in a bit, is, a, is much, much more complicated. I initially thought it was just glue residue as well from looking at it and feeling the texture with my hands. My initial game plan and plan of attack was to clean off the area with ONR, clay bar it, and using a Griot's microfiber pad with the longer fibers to mimic a wool pad to test and see if it can clean it up. The feedback was not a good sign because it literally did nothing but shine it up. Now I'm thinking, okay, plan A did not work. Now move on to plan B. My thoughts for plan B were to use heat from both a steamer and heat, a heat gun to see if I can break down the residue and use some elbow grease with adhesive remover and goo gone. My plan B also did not do anything. Now my brain is working overtime by thinking what could possibly remove this and why is it not coming off. So I refocus and start thinking back to the basics, proper procedures and foundations. What I did next, I should have done from the beginning and take paint measurements because I found out the whole front end has been repainted before. Now equipped with this new knowledge, I started looking around the fender more and saw below the reflector light literally the top clear coat was missing and flaked off after the track wrap was removed with it. 
my sure sign of indication was the black paint was a couple shades off from the paint with clear intact. Uh, my next step was to call the customer, let him, let him know everything I did, how the paint responded to every step, and to inform him the bad news of it needing a repaint at the auto body shop. He understood the situation and let me wet sand it as a last resort to see if, he, if it can help, which was his idea, not mine, and I only did it after he said I would not be liable if any paint is burned.
When the customer dropped by to pick up the car, I could tell he was a little, uh, I would say, disappointed that the fender couldn't be saved, but it still looked easily 50% better as, as the glue residue is now more blended in. It doesn't stand out as, as much anymore. Uh, I showed him the quarter panel. He was really happy with the outcome of that, and he told me that the rest of the car looks really amazing and it's really shiny. He did not expect that and that literally blew him out the water. He then told me that he never paid for a professional detailing job before. This was his first one and that I'm so happy that I met his expectations and that really helps with the industry because it was not a negative experience. If you guys enjoyed these type of business operation content videos, smash that like button, hit uh, leave a comment, and thanks for giving me the opportunity to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.